What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka New York Prepper. In this video, I'm going to review a flashlight. And what you're looking at here is the Through Night Catapult Mini. And this is a really cool flashlight. It's a mini spotlight or a mini thrower, okay? And this is just a really tiny flashlight. Look at how small it is. Easily fits in the palm of your hand and can fit in your pocket and this is a thrower it's not a floodlight or a tactical light okay this flashlight is designed to throw a beam a long distance okay so this is not your typical tactical light for example here's a classic tactical light this is the through night Black Scout Survival flashlight and I've done a review on this flashlight before. I'll attach a link up above if you want to check that out. But you can see the difference in the flashlight head. Okay, you can see that the Catapult Mini has a much bigger head and the lens looks a lot different and as a result the Catapult Mini will focus the beam into almost like a laser and that will throw the beam a very long distance several hundred yards versus a tactical light like this Black Scout survival light is more designed for flooding an area and it's more designed for close range use so this is what you would call a floodlight and this is what you would call a thrower or a spotlight okay so different uses for the catapult mini than for a tactical light you could use it as a tactical light and at the end of this video i'm going to attach some beam shots that i did outside as i always do with all of my flashlight reviews so if you stay tuned to the end of the video i'll attach several minutes worth of beam tests that i did outside in the dark and this little flashlight here can throw a beam at least 500 yards. I've tested it outside in different environments and I was able to throw a beam with this thing out to almost half a mile, okay, which is about 800 yards. So this little light here is very powerful. It's a thrower. Again, like I said, it's meant for long range use, okay. Uh, spotlighting that's what it's for it's not a close range tactical light but you could use it as a tactical light if you use it on the higher modes the the more powerful modes it will flood the area in front of you but on lower settings it's not going to really flood much in front of you so I'm going to go through some of the features here and show you guys exactly how this light works so in full disclosure, Through Night sent me this flashlight to review. They sent it to me for free, and I want to do an objective review. I tested this flashlight. I've had it for about three months already, and I've tested it outside, and I would not be reviewing this light and giving it my approval if it wasn't a good light. I would never recommend crappy lights or crappy gear. This is a solid light and it's good quality. So I want to just go through some of the technical specifications here. So it has multiple modes. The lowest mode is what they call the Firefly mode, which has half a lumen. And that can run for 106 hours, which is absolutely insane. It has a low mode of 21 lumens and a runtime of 12 hours. A medium mode of 96 lumens, which will run for 4 hours. And a high mode of 235 lumens, and it'll run for 80 minutes on that mode. And then it has a turbo mode of 680 lumens, and it'll run for 70 minutes on turbo, okay? It also has a strobe mode of 680 lumens, so the strobe and the turbo have the same brightness, almost 700 lumens, 
and on strobe it'll run for 30 minutes okay it has a maximum distance a beam throwing distance of 600 meters in my tests I was almost able to get it to reach a thousand yards okay um, it has an impact resistance of one and a half meters and it's IPX8 waterproof so you can submerge it down to two meters below water for 30 minutes and it won't have any intrusion of water so I want to just show you guys how to use this light and give you a closer look so stay tuned so I want to show you guys how big this light is here I have my reloading calipers it's about 3.18 inches long okay and the head of the flashlight is 1.59 inches in diameter so it's pretty big and what I like about this flashlight and I'm not sure if they designed it this way on purpose but it has a one inch diameter body here and so it's 1.02 inches just over an inch a hair over an inch 1.02 inches but I always discuss in my flashlight reviews for those of you guys who are new to my channel I always mention that having a one inch diameter body on a flashlight is really important and the reason why is that it allows you to mount your flashlight on a firearm because one inch diameter is one of the most common sizes for flashlight mounts and ring mounts okay so if you have a one inch diameter body on your flashlight you can mount it onto a firearm so you could mount this onto a rifle or um, a shotgun a pistol you know depending on what your setup is like and what kind of firearm you have but it does have a one inch diameter body here this little section right here so you could probably mount this okay I haven't tested it out myself but I don't see why not and uh, I mean one example of how I would use this is for uh, predator hunting or coyote hunting at night you know if you don't want to mount like a big giant spotlight on your rifle you can mount this little guy right here and uh, you'll get some good illumination you know uh, in my test that I'll attach at the end of this video you'll see I was able to illuminate a barn from 200 yards away easily no problem and uh, so this is how you take the flashlight apart okay um, it unscrews like this and they ship it with this 1100 milliamp battery it's an 18350 battery which is kind of unique okay so it's kind of a little bit bigger than a CR123 okay it's just a little bit longer and a little bit thicker okay but it's rechargeable and you can recharge it with this port that they have right here for a micro USB uh, plug okay and also you can unscrew the cap here on the back okay so it comes apart like this in three sections okay they ship you a little uh, lanyard here which is actually pretty high quality okay it's an adjustable lanyard and I really like lanyards on your on flashlights because um, if you're hiking and you want to keep it in your hand you know there's less chance of you dropping your light and losing it especially if it's at night you know the last thing you want to do is uh, lose your flashlight so I'm gonna put this flashlight back together now so I'm going to show you guys how to use this light one thing you will notice is it doesn't have a tactical switch on the back because again it's not really designed to be a tactical light so to turn it on you got to use this button here on the side and what you do is if you press it just normal single press it'll go back to the last mode that it was on so it has a memory function okay so whatever mode you shut the light off on it's going to turn on in that mode okay so right now we're in the low mode to switch to other modes you have to hold down the button 
So you see it's switching low, medium, high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. And to get into the turbo mode, you double click the switch. So now we're in turbo mode. Okay. And you can get into strobe mode by triple clicking. So one, two, three. Okay, there's the strobe. And you can also lock the light by quadruple clicking one, two, three, four. And it'll blink a little bit like you just saw. And now the flashlight is locked. If I press on the button here, it doesn't turn on, which I think is really important. You know, um, I've had situations where I've left a flashlight in a backpack or in a pouch and it was activated the whole time and I didn't know it and it drained like almost all of my battery. So in order to unlock it, once you lock it, you quadruple click again. So one, two, three, four, and now we're back on. Okay, now another thing is the Firefly mode. To get into the Firefly mode, which is half a lumen, what you do is you just hold down, you press and hold, and it'll turn on into Firefly mode. And this is really good if you're in a survival situation or you just really don't need that much light and you want to conserve your battery okay the firefly mode is is really good and they also have it on this black scout survival light too they have that firefly mode and again in the firefly mode you can run this thing for a hundred and six hours okay so I could literally have this thing on for five days okay four to five days and it'll still run and I mean that's good for signaling you know if you want to signal uh, for rescue if you're in an area where you want to signal you know you keep this thing on firefly mode and and you'll be able to uh, signal for rescue in a survival situation and also you can check the battery level by holding pressing and holding three seconds okay so if you press and hold You'll see there's a little blue light there in the middle of the switch, okay? You can see that faint blue light there. And what that means is that this thing is fully juiced up. If it's a blue light, that means it's 21 to 100% uh, charge. If it's purple, it's 10 to 20% charge. And if it's red, it's less than 10% charge and you need to basically charge it immediately so that's pretty cool uh, you do get a warranty with this light you get two years free replacement so within two years of purchasing this thing they'll replace it for free if you damage it due to normal use if there's any problems due to normal use they will replace it for free within two years of purchase and they do give a 30-day refund through Amazon and you also get lifetime limited maintenance, which is really cool. And it also ships with spare O-rings and a spare uh, rubber get, uh, flap here for your micro USB. Okay, so a uh, really cool flashlight, guys. And it's made out of 6061 aluminum. It's premium type 3 hard anodized. So it's very rugged. It uh, has a toughened ultra clear glass lens with an anti-reflective coating, which I think is interesting, which means that this thing is not going to reflect light, which is good for tactical purposes um, or even for hunting purposes. So you don't give away your position. OK, so just wanted to share this light with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this review and stay tuned for some beam shots that I took outside. So thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three P's. Prepare, practice, and persevere.